again with another video. Mm -hmm. Today we'll be talking about what is it? When is the right time to take a break? Yes. Or if you believe in taking a break in a relationship? Because I certainly do. <laughs> so, to begin, we have some free thigh. Thanks. Oh, so I'm Are you not showing your free time? <laughs> well, I'm a pescatarian, so she got fried fish. I got fried fish right here, and um, we got some aka right here. We got the peaklees right here. Peaklees and um, she's eating yum cochon. Some veal. Yeah. And we got some wine. Yes. So to believe, I guess I'll let you start because for me, I don't really think like taking breaks or. Too productive in most relationships so you can start off since you do believe that they are and um, so on I do I believe that they <laughs> okay so um I mean I feel like sometimes like if the relationship is not working and it becomes too toxic sometimes you probably do need to leave that relationship in order to like Find, like know yourself if that makes sense and I always feel like what's meant to be eventually will be so let's just say for example if you know if you're in a relationship with someone you've been together for a very long time and you don't feel like it's working out you guys you know y'all don't have the same goals value morals whatever it is but then what? no go ahead no 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 go ahead if you're listing morals and goals that's like not even taking a break that's you break up for me honestly taking a break is like for me if you're not seeing eye to eye if you guys you know, let's just say for example, if you know, career paths, you know, if you want to, let's just say, if, you know, if you want to travel and the person want to stay local, then you go on a break and you discover the world, you know, discover who you are as an individual and then, like I said, if it's meant to be, it will be, that's the break. But does that mean when you take the break, can you see other people? Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> they, that you have to define what's taking a break because taking a break to me is taking a break. No, but it's not. Yeah, that's me. different. Unless, unless, that's, okay, let's just define. Breaking up is you're done, you could see other people, you go on with your life and move on. Taking a break is you're trying to find yourself within that relationship, you're not talking to other people. Okay. So, this two different things. So, you can't be taking a break and then thinking you're gonna, you're gonna go and flirt with other people and that's not the whole point is to find yourself find not yourself to be other people so like basically like taking a break um you know you have to have rules and boundaries you know like you can't it's not really an excuse because so i feel like some relationships like some couples that it'll be that one individual in the relationship they were like oh i'm going on a break why because you know that person want to go on a vacation be you know and want to like go around and like have sex with other people you gotta talk about so, it too. you can't just decide that it has to be like a mutual thing like, it can't just be like oh well i'm going on a break just because you know i'm tired of you know the same bullshit you know that's like i feel like with taking a break you guys have to be it has to be like a mutual um a mutual understanding of you know what's gonna happen within that break you know you guys have to have boundaries definitely respect the relationship even though you're not technically you're still in a relationship it's just you're just not invested in that person so much the whole point yeah. is just like you're we're together but i'm taking this time like she said whether whether it's like with career wise you have to move you have to travel you could take that time to dedicate to finding yourself Find and yourself. not investing it too much in a relationship mm -hmm. but like you're not actively seeking to be with someone else yeah. and the person has to be doing the same thing it, i can't be the one over here i'm miserable trying to find mm -hmm. myself meanwhile you're over there partying yeah definitely. With other <laughs> it can't be like it has to be because that's why i don't believe in it but it's like that somebody always cheats that's what i'm like, saying so. i don't believe in it because I would rather break up with someone and then like you said earlier mm -hmm. if you really you know destined to be with that person you find each other yeah. again eventually Pretty much. but I would rather not have no strings attached that's you, true too if you want to move on and you find something better because some people like you know you take a break and then you realize oh wow you take a step back and you realize this relationship is not even for you yeah. at all and you're like afraid to tell this other person because you already had you know a mutual understanding mm -hmm. so what do you do then what are you supposed to talk to people behind your back because you know what? i would rather just break up with somebody and just be like i just need to figure it out mm -hmm. eventually like you said a lot of people break up for a year and then they get back together yeah. but they break up with clean cut 
no strings attached, you do what you want. You basically let the person go for free. Because mm -hmm. it's like taking a break, it's kind of like, is this person really going to change? Like when I think of it, it's like, okay, and this person in the back of their mind, they're thinking like, damn, I still have to be with that person yeah. at the end of the day. So what if you change yourself and you realize, like, like I said, like this isn't for me. So do you still feel obligated no, to No, you walk away. Why well, do you a lot of people, happy relationship? That's, the thing. that's stupid. A lot of people don't feel like they can't. No, you should feel that A lot of people feel way. like, oh my God, it's kind of like, that's like no. I'm doing great by myself and then I have to get back to this. What if you figured yourself out, you're in a great state of mind, mm -hmm. and then you do love that person, and then once you're like, okay, I think I'm good, and you get back with that person, and it's like, you and took five back, I'm set backwards. And, and that's what? when the relationship becomes toxic. You know, all these things come into play. So with me, I feel like sometimes, like a lot of people go into a relationship with like a lot of baggages. You know, like you can't. I mean, that's inevitable for most. Clients, yes. So. Yes, I get that, but like. That's also a problem, so that's also an issue that a lot of people are dealing with. So I just felt with me, that's why I told my boyfriend, like, honestly, this relationship is not working out, babe. It is what it is. You know, we will have to go out separate ways. I would rather be alone than be in a relationship and still feeling like I'm alone. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, you know, it's not worth it. Yeah. No, it's, mm -mm. I don't believe in taking breaks, but. I mean, I'm, story time. Sure. <laughs> As always. <laughs> but like, I actually took a break. We took a, um, I've been with my boyfriend for at least what, um, six years. Six years now. And we took a break last winter. And I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. It was extremely difficult, especially, especially if you're used to that person. You're used to talking to them every day. You know, you guys hang out, yeah, you know, it's just, it's basically like a part of your, like the person's like a part of your day, like a part of your daily routine and then like all, out of nowhere, he's not there, you know, like, oh my gosh, what do I do? That's just, you know, it is what it is. So like, I felt like if I probably, I felt like we needed that break. It was either that or me breaking up with him. I feel just clutchy. I felt, I saw a piece of blood thing. <laughs> it was either that or me breaking up with him. And I, I'm glad that we actually took the break because, you know, we worked out our differences and, now we're in a much better place, so I'm glad that, you know, I know you don't believe in breaks, but it actually worked for me. Now. I mean, it's not that I, believe, I don't believe in it. I don't trust people enough. I trust people, but like, I don't trust people enough to be mutual, like really mutual in a relationship. I mean, in that break. I'm just the type, I would rather let someone do you, like don't feel like you have to, I don't know, some mm -hmm. obligation mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. And then you find yourself freely with no restrictions, then you feeling like, like I explained before, that you still attached to me somehow. Like, I'd rather break up and get back together. But like, I have this one friend that, you know, like her boyfriend, like, they always take breaks. So, like, within that break, it's like, what if one of them end up, you know, having sex with somebody else? Yeah. So what happens then? You know what I'm saying? It's like then you go to back into this relationship, and that's when I say that's when it becomes toxic. Because then you're gonna have to start. You gotta start, start comparing stories, like shit. And so like, oh, so you know, while we're on a break, like, what did you do? Like, what happened? And that's what creates arguments in like, relationships. Like, oh my god, we gotta get tested again. Exactly. So it's like it's some a stuff will appear till six months later. Then what? You're not waiting six months to be with this person yeah. sexually. It's just just a lot. Yeah, it was too much for me. I don't got time for that. <laughs> You just said that. No, way. listen. No, listen. If we're taking a break, oh no, you're not putting your penis in no other vagina. I don't have time for that. But you don't know that. Well, that's a problem. Well, I mean, I use condoms, so I don't know. I mean, condoms. You can get crabs. <laughs> <laughs> me personally, I just don't want. With me, it's trust. To honestly. me, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to be able to trust. First off, I don't want that burden on you and me. And also, I don't trust the whole process yeah. as, as a whole. There's no way. I mean, it's possible, but often it's not mutual. Of often course. someone is sneaking around doing something. Of course, no. 100%. So it's like I, have no story I would for rather you. just not. Like you go be. That's all the bitches you want. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. 
if you if that's what you truly want because if you're gonna do it while you're on a break then that's what you really want to do yeah, pretty much of even taking that break to work on yourself if that's you already out that's what i'm saying when you like when you okay so i don't like when people say like just say you know i think it's best for us to see different people right now but saying like but you know, right now, to, if someone says that to me, I'm gonna be People say it though. But like, if you say, you know, I, I want to go on a break so I can work on myself. I want to be a better person so I can be a, you know, so I can. Because the thing I feel like sometimes, in order for a relationship to work, like you have to be the better person for yourself in order to bring what you have yeah, to, to offer to that relationship. Because yeah. I feel like I'm stuck. <laughs> no, like like you're saying, like relationships is not two halves coming in together. It's two holes mm -hmm. being a better whole. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you're not good within yourself, what are you bringing mm -hmm. to this table? It's not even about being, you know, financially stable, whatever it it's is. It's like self love. Like it's like if you yeah, don't have self love, not, like how can you actually offer that to anybody else if you don't love yourself? Yeah. It's like this person could literally try anything and everything yeah. to make you happy. But at the end of the day, if you're not happy within yourself, you're not satisfied with what you're doing, whether that's career-wise or lifestyle, whatever it is, mm -hmm. no one can make you happy. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. Someone could, you know, um, contribute to your happiness, but as a whole, no one is going to make you happy. Your boyfriend can't make you happy. He could buy you all the diamonds, all the flowers, buy you the biggest house, take you out and like, be the most faithful person. And do all the things that he's supposed to do, and somehow you could still not be happy. Happiness and, comes from within. So yeah. it's like, if you don't have that, it's hard for you to offer it to anybody else. And it's hard for you to actually receive it. Accept it. Yeah. Accept it. Yeah, so it's like. that's why people don't accept it. Because yeah. you, someone, oh my God, like, it's frustrating sometimes. If you see and you're giving all your all to mm -hmm. somebody, and it's like, you still see that person struggling, that they still can't love themselves. Yeah. And that's a position that's tough if you're, like, a partner, and it's just kind of like too much I, yeah in conclusion i don't believe in breaks i still don't i would rather like let's say for right now like, something happens to you in the past that made you feel that way or no no it's just kind of like from, or have you like experienced from, or witnessed something that happened from like stories or from just i don't know from like like you said like you watch people or like you've read about a lot of things it's like Knowing that human nature, it's kind of like someone could, you just pop, let's say this person, okay, y'all on a break, you think it's mutual, and then this person's doing something and you just don't even know about it. Like, I just personally just don't believe that I trust humans to that extent. So, what's the difference with them being in a relationship? They could still be in a relationship and still be doing the same thing that they, they can. Yeah, so. But then again, in people's minds, if they're on a break, people think, okay, we're on a break, we're technically not together. Yeah. A lot of people that try to think of it. Yeah, anymore. it gives them more freedom. Yeah. But, um, like you said, you could cheat in a relationship. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. But it's just the mindset of people like thinking they're on a break, there's no. Op and then it's easier to. To, to cheat when you're on a break. <laughs> so hard. Oh, what happened? The fish is too large? <laughs> it's just easier to like, imagine you're in a relationship, right? You're texting that person all, you know, in the morning, nighttime. You basically, and I mean, I, you talk to your partner every day. Sometimes. I mean, I talk to mine every day. So it's kind of like when you're not in a relationship, you're not obligated to do that anymore. It's like you're slowly letting go when yeah. you're working on yourself to the point like where you might not even feel like you're in a relationship anymore because the obligation that comes with being in a relationship, mm -hmm. like talking to the person, how was your day, yeah. or whatever, the morning, the night type of thing, getting together, going on a date. You're not doing that, especially if the break is long. But to summarize, if you feel like you're in a relationship where you need to take a break, the thing is, it's not like I'm not so against it. Like... For me, I'm the type of person, because I just know myself, if I was to take a break in a relationship, I would be like dedicated to that. Of course you would be. You're a good girl. But um <laughs> But like Sorry. But it's just kinda again, it's kind of like There's always gonna be that one person in a relationship that's gonna fuck up. Or some someone what if the other person didn't want that break? It's never mutual. That's what I'm saying. It's you could be on right. mutual terms, but it's you. But Most you have to be never mutual. And okay, and that's fine. But you also have to respect. If that person is telling you, look, 
I really need me time right now. Like, this is not working for me. I need to go on a break. You have to respect that and say, you know what? Fine. Even if you don't agree with it. It's just, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You can say, no, you can't go on a break. I'm not ready for a break. Let's work this out. Yeah. No. Some people are like that. Like, we need to work this out. But it's like you said, if you and need then to it take becomes, time And then that's when different. it becomes a serious toxic relationship. Then that's when you you might want to take that break to break up. Yeah, and because it's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's my mindset. Is it productive? Because some people take breaks and then they back on the same bullshit when they get back together. Of course. Why are you about the same damn thing? Like, but that's the, the problem. But that's the problem. It's that's like, the problem. Why? That's okay. Those relationships don't last. And if it if, if, if it, it does, laugh, but if it, it does, then it becomes a toxic. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. If it lasts, it becomes a toxic relationship. So that's honestly that's you. I really I could care less. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen this before. We take a break and then we get back and it's the same thing. You're still doing. You're still cheating on me. Two weeks, a day of break, yeah. two days break, two days break, and then you come for me the next day. Like what? What's going on? Like what's happening? The next two days after, are you about the same bitches? You are we taking a break? Oh what? Oh yeah, we're on a break. Like, but you don't even know status know. relationship at this point. It's Honestly, kind of like, yeah. I feel like can no one speak on your relationship but yourself and the other person that's in the relationship with you. So if you feel like it is a toxic relationship, get out of it. But no, get out of it. It's not worth it. Like I feel like yo, every relationship. Okay, so I feel like every relationship is an investment. Okay, now you can either lose. Or you can either make a profit out of it. The profit is your happiness. Or and other things. Uh, uh, <laughs> Maybe you. a new car. Anyways, <laughs> but like some to me. <laughs> happiness is like everything. If you're not happy with the person that you're with, it's not worth it. What All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, please like and subscribe and share our videos. And um, if we don't get to see you before the new year, we will. Oh, yeah. No, probably not. But I'm going to church. She's going to the party. So happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Ooh. Bye. Goodbye.